Hello and welcome back. I've got a tutorial today showing everyone how to select for some specific uh, some specific polygons within a larger feature class. And while this is a polygon feature class, you could apply this to points, lines, and again polygons. So any kind of vector data set. And in this hypothetical example, you know, I've got the counties in Texas, but maybe I just want to work with a handful of those. Let's say uh, Walker, Montgomery, and Harris County. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go up to Map Selection and click the Select button. And then I can hold uh, the Shift key while I select for those specific counties. And then I'm going to come over and right click on that uh, feature class that I've made that selection in and go to select and make a layer from selected features and you can see a county 04 selection is has popped up if I turn off the, the county layer that includes all the counties then you can see this selection is all that's remaining uh, but one important detail another step you want to do is go down to data and export features and you'll see this geoprocessing tool feature class to feature class pops up. The reason this is important is if I made some edits to this selection I've made. So like maybe I wanted to change the shape um, or really any edits that you make to this and you save will be applied to this original shape file. And obviously you want to avoid that. You could potentially be changing some data somewhere in your database. Um, so I would strongly rec recommend you go and export and you know your, you got your input feature, uh, your output location, where is it going, and then you can rename it, you know, whatever, you can just say new county, and I'll go ahead and run the tool. And as you can see, we were successful and we got this new underscore county here. I can remove this and I could even remove that old county layer and now I have a new feature class with the specific selected features I need and I can make edits and not worry about it uh, compromising data sets somewhere else that maybe I don't want to change so that's it for this tutorial if you thought this was helpful make sure you like and subscribe and thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video thanks